Hey guys, my name's Roman of course, aka Moderate Skill, and I just wanted to bring you a quick little project I did a while ago on a Boomco Blaster. Okay everyone, this is just a quick little project I had lying around for a while. I actually completed this a couple of years ago, probably back in 2014 if I remember correctly. Um, I kind of just finished it and put it in a box because there were some safety concerns there, so I never actually ran it in a wall. But that's changed and I've cleaned up some of the safety issues now and I'll just take you through it. So it's just a Boomco Rapid Madness as you can see, uh, but there is something else going on down here. Let's flip it over for you. Okay, here's basically what we've done. This airline connects to a Schrader valve, which has been spliced into the air system here. This Schrader valve allows me to connect this compressor to the Bloomco bladder system. Interesting to note, the hand pump is still fully operational. So the compressor acts as more of an assist. So you can be pumping away with this hand pump. The compressor is whirring the entire time and that just speeds up the process of filling up the bladder with air. Okay, here's a better view of the compressor. So there's the compressor's motor. There's the compressor's piston here. And along here you can see the compressor's gear. I can't move that by hand. It runs off a 3S LiPo just in this battery box here. This is one of the new Turnigy graphene batteries. It's quite nice. This is just a little battery box, electronic component housing box I bought from Ultronics. And that's just been super glued onto the bottom rail here. The main safety concern with this was these exposed terminals here. Well, as you can see, they're not exposed anymore. This mod was originally done before I got hold of Plastamake. When I got, now that I have Plastamake, I just coated the terminals in this stuff and that's formed nice solid shells and there's no way I can damage the contacts anymore. A similar thing was done with the gear here. You see, when this would be spinning all exposed, that's just asking to strip off flesh, very dangerous. So I just crafted this guard piece by uh, getting a milk bottle cap, surrounding it with this material while it was hot, letting it cool, popping out the milk cap, and then just remelting the ends here and here, uh, securing it on, letting it cure again. That's also covering the contacts for this rocker switch. That's how we switch the thing on and off. So it's possible to just leave it off and use the hand pump as normal, or you can switch it on and let it just assist you pumping up. Let's keep that off for now. It took me a long time to work out where to actually put the compressor. For a long time I tried to put it inside the shell, but there just wasn't any room. And eventually I found out that I could just thread it over this rail. You can see this part here, this part here, forms kind of a U, it can be coaxed on there and then knocked to the back a little bit and held on with pressure and then the wires just lead inside the shell with a little cut made in here. Okay for reference this is what the compressor looks like in stock form. This is a cheap little thing I got from Kmart but they're actually pretty good for what you get. I think they're like five dollars or so. Yeah, so this is actually the whole package. There, mini compressor. They come with a little pressure valve, that kind of thing. So this is the housing here. Uh, the housing came off. A power lead connects up to like a car's cigarette lighter. Oh, well, they used to be cigarette lighters, didn't they? Anyway, that just got uh, chopped off and rewired. There's the Schrader valve plug. But yeah, overall a cheap little unit. Yeah, you can afford to experiment around with these, lose a few. So these pictures here are from when I originally did the modification. 
Uh, this one here shows where the Schrader valve has been spliced into the air system. This second photo here shows the check switch used at the back of the bladder. As the bladder expands inside that cylinder, that blue piece you can see in about the middle of the frame comes towards the camera. And that little switch I epoxied into place, that cuts power to the compressor as soon as it's pressed down. So once the bladder reaches that point of maximum extension, then that's when the airflow to the bladder is cut. Even if this switch were to fail, it's not a big deal because the overpressure valve on the bladder is still intact and it would just vent out the excess air and the compressor would continue to spin pointlessly, really. Now, the best thing about this mod is how quiet it is. Why, Dr. Nick, is it even on? I can barely hear a thing. If we're so quiet, Troy! Let's see how fast we can get through this. The rate of fire has dropped a bit there. I got a bit of a workout there. If you pump and pump and pump away, the compressor assists you. And yeah, your rate of fire does sag after a while on these 40 rounders. And you can see I had a bit of a issue with that last one. But you know, overall, it beats pumping, doing all the pumping by yourself. All in all, I'm really happy with this beast. And I regret not using it before and keeping it in a box for so long safety concerns being what they are. I was all set to use this at my most recent war, but then well, it got cancelled. So I hope to run it at the next war if possible. I am pretty disappointed Boonco never caught on really. The Busby Destiny is coming out and it pretty much runs on the same system with the catch of using regular ammo. I can understand why regular darts are desirable, but honestly Boonco small darts they do have their plus in that you get a much larger capacity. I mean, look at this. This is a 40 round clip. I've got about four or five of these. So if I carry all these into battle, as you've seen, uh, the amount of fire I can pour on someone is pretty nuts. But I can understand that not all nerfers have the same budget I do. When these Boomco Rapid Madnesses came out in Australia, on store shelves, they were legit 99 Australian dollars pretty crazy. Uh, eventually when the shop started selling off all their stock, the price dropped down to 50. And the Boomco darts I know can be expensive and the 40 round clips can only be sourced off Amazon, so I do understand. But since I can afford it, I just chose to go for it and I haven't regretted that. So hopefully this video hasn't run too long for what's supposed to be just a short little mod video. I hope enough of you out there are interested in Boomco Blasters and the Rapid Madness, for example. I've got a bit of a soft spot for these kind of things. I wish they had done better in Australia in particular. Uh, since they didn't do very well, looks like we don't get our hands on any new Boomco Blasters now. Well, I'm certainly happy with this mod, because at the end of the day, who doesn't like a little bit of extra help pumping away? If we're so quiet, Troy!